everyone, Big Paulie back for another collection video. Oh yes, baby. Um, this collection is my complete 4K UHD collection. Oh, we've got some lovely goodies here. Right, okay, I'm going to start off. There's no particular order. It's not A to Z or anything like that. It's just how I pulled them out of the shelf. <laughs> oh no, I'm crap at bloody cat cataloging on the shelves. Right, so here we go then. Okay, hopefully I've got enough room to stack them. Okay, so the first one is the Blue Fans Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them with the nice lenticular. As you can see, fantastic lenticular. And the steel book on this one is absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, lots of nice gloss and embossing and a nice picture of the suitcase on the back there. So that's the first one. Next up, we've got Annihilation, which was sent to me from a nice guy in the US. Oh, basically, I ship a load of Blu-rays out to him uh, and he was able to get hold of this for me. This has got a UK release coming up on the 1st of April. Whether or not it's April Fool's joke or not, but um, the Steelbook artwork looks quite nice. Really good film. Nice sci-fi element with the dome and uh, quite an interesting ending. So that's Annihilation. Jurassic Park, no it's not, it's Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, so this is the latest one. I liked the first half of this movie, second half not too sure on it, because it went a completely different direction, but it's still a good film. And next up we have Star Wars The Last Jedi, which is a 4K stillbook from the US three discs uh, and this was also sent to me from the same chat that sent the annihilation next up we have the incredible hulk uh, this is the better hulk out of this one and eric banner so i much prefer the edward norton movie Another still book, and this was an uh, HMV exclusive. This is Spider-Man Homecoming. This was quite a prestige one when this came out um, because it inc also includes the 3D disc and also a comic book as well. So that's quite that was quite a packed still book release. And it's a shame HMV weren't to keep weren't able to keep that kind of m momentum going with all the other still books. Next one up, um, it was also a HMV exclusive, but um, I think it only had the 3D edition. So I went for the French edition of the Justice League, which is a very glossy steel book with lots of embossing. And this one, this has stacked discs. So it also has the 3D edition, the standard Blu-ray and the 4K edition all in one steel box. Next up we have an entry in the Star Wars universe. Uh, one of the, I think, maybe the only Star Wars film that's in 4K. Oh no, Last Jedi is of course. So a second one then. Solo, a Star Wars story. Uh, this is really good. I really did enjoy this movie. Um, picture wise it's very dark it's a very dark movie um, and the opening crawl at the beginning or the introduction at the beginning telling you all about the story very very hard to read if you haven't got the right setup next up is one I picked up from CEX uh, it was a film that I went to see with Lulu and Claire and we thoroughly enjoyed it Jennifer Lawrence in Red Sparrow. Really good film. A lot of these I haven't actually got around to seeing yet. What a surprise. <laughs> and next up, I decided to go for this one over the still book because I didn't think the still book blended in with the original HMV or Zavi still book that I had. 
So I went for Deadpool 2, the Super Duper Cut, and it's a jumbo. Not a steel book, but it's a standard 4K edition. And uh, really enjoyed this film. Fantastic film. Uh, not as good as the original, I don't think. Even though we had the inclusion of Mr. Brolin here. I still do prefer the original. Next one is, I've only just recently picked this up yesterday. This is Ghostbusters. I picked this up for £9.97 at PC World and Curry's, which they've got a special deal at the moment with these and Jason Bourne. So if you check out the website, check out your local Curry's and PC World, you might be able to pick it up for £9.97. And it is the best of the Ghostbusters. And next up, we have Alicia Vikander in Tomb Raider, which I really enjoyed this movie. Uh, I actually prefer this over the Angelina Jolie movies. And um, there is a 3D re uh, release for this, but apparently the 3D is not very good. So I went for the 4K. Went for the 4K to make it look amazing. Also, next up is the X-Men 3 film collection. This is the first three films, X-Men, X-Men 2 and X-Men The Last Stand. Um, I haven't got any of the other X-Men movies in 4K yet, so I'm on the lookout to get pick up some of those cheap. They did have the last three in HMV for about £12.99 each, I think it was, uh, but with no slips. But um, I'd much prefer to have them with slips. Also, another box set, which I picked up, and this is... Mission Impossible, and this is the first five adventures. The first five movies. So you've got Mission Impossible, Mission Impossible 2, Mission Impossible 3, uh, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, and Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Uh, and they come in two individual MOA cases with the flip discs. But uh, five films, fantastic. And I now actually have the entire collection of Mission Impossible movies and also Mission Impossible Fallout which is an HMV exclusive probably one of the last HMV exclusives we're going to get uh, also includes the Blu-ray and and uh, the standard yeah the standard Blu-ray and I think it's a special features disc yes a special features disc with the 4K inside. No inside artwork on the discs, but that's very nice having it all in all in one little package. So that's Mission Impossible Fallout. Next up, we have another HMV exclusive, which is Kingsman, The Golden Circle. So this is the second film. A lot of people didn't like this artwork, didn't like this comic book style artwork, but I thought it was really good. I thought it really works well. Uh, and you can actually pick this up now for about 12 quid or 14 quid in some HMV stores if they've got them left. So, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that movie. Um, apparently, there's going to be another Kingsman movie, maybe later this year or, or next year, which is going to be a prequel, but without Eggsy. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. Uh, next up, we have uh, a film by Christopher Nolan, Dunkirk. Uh, and this is the French steel book. I believe this is the French steel book. Uh, it comes with the 4K disc, the standard Blu-ray, and also a bonus Blu-ray disc as well. Uh, with some very nice artwork and some reflective silver logo there. Brilliant film. Chris, you can't go wrong with Christopher Nolan. He does some amazing movies. Next up, uh, we have the story of Winston Churchill, as played by Gary Oldman. Uh, and I haven't seen this one yet. It's The Darkest Hour. And this is the one that won, that uh, got Gary Oldman his Oscar. So I'm looking forward to seeing that and to seeing his performance. And I do love these, uh, these 4K cases with a nice foil on and all that kind of stuff. Next up, we've got Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, as Rampage. And I've only just recently seen this film three or four days ago. 
and I loved it. I thought it was a really good popcorn munching summer blockbuster. Um, I like a bit of destruction in the cities. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter who's causing the destruction, but I like a bit of destruction. Climbing up buildings and buildings toppling over. But uh, yes, I thought that was really well done. And hopefully there might be maybe another entry. You know, another sequel, maybe. Uh, next up is the second of the Pacific Rim series, which apparently wasn't as good as the first film, but I haven't seen this yet. And this is Uprising. Uh, and I do like, as I say, I do like the big destructions in the city, but I also like films with big robots. So Transformers, Pacific Rim, Godzilla, any kind of large mechanical or animal, I'm all for it. <laughs> Next up, I have one of my favourite movies of last year. Absolutely stunning 4K presentation. And also 3D as well. Uh, and sometimes I'm torn between whether or not to put the 4K on or to put the 3D on. Steven Spielberg's Ready Player One. This artwork is amazing. I didn't like the Steelbook artwork with the egg. I thought it was very basic. Um, and it just didn't do anything. But that artwork is stunning. And I would love a poster with that on. Amazing film as well. Next up, um, we have Mr. Willis with his dirty white t-shirt in Die Hard. Um, now, I think this is the only Die Hard movie that is in 4K. Although I believe Die Hard 2 is available in 4K on iTunes. So hopefully we might get a physical release for, for Die Hard 2. Still the best Die Hard and next up is, in my opinion, is the greatest musical of all time. But as I say, it's just my personal opinion. The Greatest Showman. Having said that, I've not seen too many musicals. So <laughs> I can't really go by that, can I? But I absolutely loved this film. Loved the soundtrack. Singing the soundtrack for, for weeks and weeks. Playing it in the car. And the colours are beautiful in this. The HDR. All the circus tent colours and all the costume colours. Bright reds and yellows. Absolutely amazing movie. Next up we have Mark Wahlberg. Uh, also a fantastic, absolutely brilliant movie. And I believe this is a Peter Berg movie. First of a couple of Peter Berg ones that I've got. This is Lone Survivor. Um about a couple of soldiers that get trapped on a hilltop um, kind of like in Iraq kind of way Afghanistan and they're hunted down one by one uh, some of the scenes in this are ouch ouch when they're falling down the rocks um, and it's a beautiful picture it's a beautiful picture and the sound on this is amazing with the bullets ricocheting so it's one of my favourite Peter Berg movies next up we have another war film because I'm all into me war films. Uh, and this was actually kind of a surprise. I do have a still book of this. Uh, which was an HMV exclusive. But I love the artwork on this. Uh, it's Brad Pitt in Fury. Sometimes very claustrophobic inside this tank. But it's a fantastic film. Um, and it also stars a very watchable Shia LaBeouf. For those of you that don't really like him. Next up, um, another entry for Dwayne The Rock Johnson, which one I saw in the cinema uh, last year. Skyscraper, uh, which is basically the town inferno meets Die Hard um, with an artificial leg. But um, I did thoroughly enjoy this. It was a little bit slow paced to start with, but it was a good action adventure movie. Uh, next up, uh, would you believe another film by Dwayne The Rock Johnson? How many films is he churning out? Seems like he's churning out one a month. Now, I haven't seen this, but I've heard really good things about it. Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Um, and it was a toss-up whether or not to pick up the 3D or the 4K. I picked up the 4K, but 
I would imagine the three D is pretty good on this, but uh, I've yet to see it, and I'm looking forward to seeing it. Jack Black, um, we got Kevin Hart, Karen Gillan as well from Doctor Who, so that's going to be really good. Another entry into my war movies, um, filmed by Mel Gibson and starring Andrew Garfield. Brilliant, brilliant. I would say this is probably my number two, my second favourite war film of all time. Hacksaw Ridge. Very emotional story, fantastic battle scenes. Um, it's just a great film. It's just a great film. Beautiful colours as well. Beautiful colours, especially in, the, in like the training parts um, when he's at uh, you know military camp. And next up is my all-time favourite superhero movie, Superman the movie, uh, and that is a great cover. I don't think there could have been a better cover for that. Fantastic. I did watch this one a couple of weeks ago. Very good image, considering it's, what is it, 1978, I believe. Nice, clear image. Apart from a few scenes, obviously it's filmed on, you know, on actual film stock rather than digital, so you're going to get grain. There were some really heavy grain moments. Um, but the picture was crisp throughout the film in other scenes, so... Unless they go back into the studio and remove every single bit of grain, leave it as it is. We can live with it. And now a film that's on the complete opposite end of that spectrum, very digital and very clinical, is Valerian. Uh, and the City of a Thousand Planets from Luc Besson. Now, I haven't got Fifth Element. That's one that I am meaning to get on 4K. And I don't think it's available in the UK yet. But I actually did enjoy this film. Yeah, the acting's a bit ropey. Um, I mean, Dane DeHaan and Cara Delevingne. They're not exactly A-list, are they? But they did a good job. I think Cara did a better job than Dane or whatever his name is. Oh yes, uh, next up is the first entry into the Disney animated 4K releases. And I'm hoping they are going to carry on releasing these in this format, this kind of imagery and this quality. The Lion King. Beautiful, beautiful slip. This is one of the best slips that I've seen on a 4K. And it's got some really beautiful gold embossing down the side there. As for the film, yeah, it's my number one Disney animated movie of all time. And I am really looking forward uh, to seeing, I wouldn't say, it's not the live action version, but the CGI photo realistic version, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Next film is one of my favourites from Steven Spielberg. Maybe not one of a lot of people's favourites, but uh, I love cranking this on every now and again. And it's Hook. And I do have this on Steelbook as well, but I love this cover as well. Uh, and I did play this a couple of weeks ago. And the, the 4K imagery on this is fantastic with the HDR. It's just so perfect, so beautiful. Best looking version of Hook ever. Okay, next up is uh, a film that I saw for the very first time. Yeah, don't faint. Um, as part of the Halloween season last year. And it was John Carpenter's Halloween. Which I was impressed with the movie. I'm going to have to go back and watch it a few more times. Uh, there was a bit of flashing. There was a bit of flickering and grain on some of the dark scenes which is a film that's 40 years old so you can't really moan about it but all in all uh, a solid picture not a bad film um, I wouldn't say it's a brilliant film from my point of view but I'm looking forward to seeing the new Halloween which unfortunately I didn't get to see at the cinema so I'll be waiting for the blu-ray on that one now Next up is uh, an entry into the Oceans movies. And this one stars Sandra Bullock and all 
various ladies. Um, it's Ocean's 8, and that is supposed to be Sandra Bullock. But that's really bad photoshopping. Uh, Lou and Claire did see this. They thought it was pretty good. Uh, I am looking forward to seeing it. I do enjoy the Ocean's movies. Uh, 11 and 12, maybe not 13. 13, I think, was a little bit of a... 13 was a bit of bit of a letdown, but um, I'm willing to give number 13 a go again. Um, and um, I've got an entry here that I purchased from some Zoom deals that they were doing on the website last year, which I think was like two for £10 or something, or two, maybe two for 20 I can't remember, or £10 each. Anyway, this is a Francis Ford Coppola film, the 25th anniversary of Bram Stoker's Dracula. So I haven't seen this yet. It's been a long time ago I've seen this movie. So I'm really looking forward to watching that one again. Next up um, is a really good film. Makes you shiver every time you watch it. Not because it's scary because it's actually Everest. <laughs> and you really do need to have the fire on to watch this. But unfortunately, I haven't got a slip. I would love to have a slip for this. So if anybody's got a slip of Everest, please send it to me. <laughs> uh, and I picked this up. I think I picked this up for about £4 um, from uh, an online deal that someone put me in touch with. The original one of this I had, it was sent to me, had a broken, a broken hub. And the disc was floating about, so I had to pick up a second secondary uh, a case on, off eBay. Next one is another movie that was sent to me by my mate in America. Uh, and it's not available, I don't believe it's available in the UK on 4K. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, it might be, I'm not sure. Yes, in, in, in fact, I, pretty, I am pretty sure it is actually. It's Ant-Man and the Wasp. And this is the best buy exclusive. And it's got a lenticular. Really nice lenticular. And uh, I really did enjoy this film. Not as much as the first film, but it was a good film. So I'm looking forward to putting that one on again. Next up, we have another one without a slip. Uh, and it appears that the Paramount releases in the UK don't come with slips, which is very unfortunate because I think some of these films I've got here would look amazing with slips. Forrest Gump. Um, mixed bag. I haven't seen it yet, but I've heard that it's not exactly the best transfer. But I'll give it a shot myself and um, we'll see, see what the transfer is like. It must be an improvement over the Blu-ray, surely. And next up, also without a slip, and would have looked gorgeous with a slip, is my number one war movie of all time, Saving Private Ryan. This looks stunning. This has never looked so good. It's just, it's a powerhouse of a movie. Uh, and it is a fine example of what 4K should be like and sound like. Next up, um, <laughs> this is an amazing movie. I love this movie. And I had a problem hunting this down last year. If anybody watches my Blu-ray outings, I couldn't find a slip anyway. <laughs> but I managed to get one in the end. A quiet place. Bloody good film. Really good. Really enjoyed it. Um, I don't like it when they start to put all these stars on here, though. So um, it makes it, puts it out of... Puts it out of place. I do actually prefer the US slip, but you can't have everything. Uh, next up is one of my entries into the Star Trek universe in 4K, which I picked up also at PC World and Curry's for about seven pound, I think it was last year, uh, and that's Star Trek Beyond. And this is the only one at the moment that I've got on 4K. I do have. The, the, the J.J. Abrams trilogy on 4K on iTunes, but for physical, um, I've only got this one. So I'm looking to pick up the other two, but I can't find the other two with slips.
Okay, and the next one is also another one without a slip, um, which I shall hunt down, hopefully. There is a slip for this one, and it's Serenity, which is not exactly a sequel, but kind of like a remake of the Firefly TV series, which was absolutely amazing. It was a brilliant Joss Whedon TV series coming off of Buffy, um, and really Firefly should have gone on a lot longer than one season. But this is a really good entry. This is a really good film. One of the ones I picked up from CEX for quite cheaply, about tenner, I think it was. Uh, I haven't seen this. Uh, Jennifer and Lawrence and Javier Bardem. But uh, apparently it's a bit of a mixed bag. Um, and that I should pre prepare myself for some twisted shit. Mother. Um, with some piercing eyes there. So I'm looking forward to watching this to see what it's all about. All I know or all I've been told is it's something to do with maybe the Old Testament. I don't know. But that's only by what the bloke in CEX told me. Um, wow. These are amazing movies in 4K. This one is absolutely stunning. And these slips are gorgeous as well. Avengers Assemble. This movie has never looked like this before. My God, it's absolutely stunning in 4K with the HDR. All these beautiful colours pop in. And the soundtrack is incredible. Um, I mean, God, Dolby Atmos 7.1.4. Not that I've got that set up, but my God, it sounds good. And of course, if you've got the first Avengers, you've got to have the next Avengers, Age of Ultron. Um, and a lot of people have this as one of their weakest entries in the Marvel Universe, but I love it. I love the whole James Spader Ultron, and um, it's brilliant. I love it, absolutely do. I don't think it's weak at all. And then, of course, if you've got the first two, you've got to have the ultimate one, haven't you? <laughs> Infinity War. And this too, again, looks incredible with the, uh, the HDR. And it sounds amazing. And um, hopefully when we get Avengers Endgame, hopefully we'll also get a package that matches Another Marvel movie is Thor Ragnarok. And this was born for 4K HDR. This is just so colourful to watch and so beautiful. Just It's a beautiful, beautiful movie. And it is really good. I absolutely love this movie. Lulu and Claire didn't like it. They thought it was the weakest the worst of the Thor movies because of the comedy. But I think this is how all the Thor films should have been. This kind of quality. Brilliant. Next up we have Arnie himself. Predator. Really nice cover. Really nice film. Uh, really nice cover. Um, I watched this a couple of months ago for the first time on 4K. I have to say it is a big improvement over the Blu-ray. I watched the Blu-ray, some of the scenes of the Blu-ray, directly after this. And it's just awful now. It's just awful now. Like The faces are all waxed with the, with the DNR and everything. And this just brings out now the full quality of imagery. Um, and you can see the stubble, the sweat, all that kind of stuff. So this, it's un, un, the unwaxed edition. <laughs> but uh, brilliant film as well. Uh, next, we have a quaint little family film. Peter Rabbit, which looks really good because obviously all the lovely colours and all that. Um, it was a really enjoyable film. I'm not going to say it's a brilliant family film, but um, I did enjoy it. And James Corden wasn't annoying, mainly because he only voiced the rabbit and wasn't in it himself. Um, my next entry is one of the David Attenborough uh, series, 
is Blue Planet 2, which looks absolutely gorgeous. I've got to pick up a couple more of these, um, Planet Earth, maybe some animal ones, um, because they really do look amazing. And now we have another 4K entry for Marvel, um, which is marvellous. And this is beautiful. This, I love this. All the colours, the Wakanda colours, the greens, it's just beautiful to look at. And especially the scenes around the tree when he meets his, you know, the, his vision with his father. Kind of like pinkish and avatar kind of visions. Um, and the slip for this is the best slip of Black Panther anywhere, I think. This is a gorgeous looking slip. So I am so happy that I was able to pick that up. And it's all embossed and 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 um, glossed and everything. Next up, uh, we have another family film. Haven't seen this one yet, but um, apparently it's a really good film. It's Wonder, about uh, a little kid that has a facial deformity. Um, and he has to live with it and try and blend in at school and that kind of thing. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing this one. So I should hopefully stick this one on soon. Uh, the next one is also, um, it's an impressive cast, but the film dragged a bit and was a bit slow paced. Murder on the Orient Express. Uh, a hell of a cast, Johnny Depp, Michelle Pfeiffer, Judy Dench, Daisy Ridley, uh, Kenneth Branagh, an amazing cast. Uh, and there is going to be the next chapter of this, isn't there, which um, I'm looking forward to. But um, I might go back and rewatch this because I was tired when I saw it. So um, maybe I didn't actually take everything in. Next up is another one of the zoom.com offers that I got last year. Uh, I haven't seen this, so I'm not sure what it's like. It's supposed to be a different take on the legend. Dracula Untold. So I am looking forward to seeing it, but I don't know anything about it other than it's got the name Un Dracula. But as I say, it's untold, so it's not going to be anything that we recognise, I don't suppose. Uh, next one up is a film by Nick Park early man which is using you know the the stop motion stop motion clay um animation i really do enjoy the wallace and gromit movies um i wasn't too sure on this this kind of didn't hit its mark with me i liked the comedy ele elements of it it looked gorgeous uh, I kind of lost interest when they did the football scenes, when they did the football matches, because I'm not into football, really. And it kind of like threw it out. I, I, it, I wasn't expecting it to be focusing so much on the football scenes, uh, whereas I thought it was just going to be a prehistoric film. So it's an enjoyable film, but it's not a brilliant film. No, this is a brilliant film. Uh, wow. Wow. Blade Runner 2049, which is probably the most gorgeous looking 4K there is on the market. It is a slow film. It is a very atmospheric film, but it is a stunning movie uh, and has one of the most incredible photorealistic de-aging procedures or CGI creations. Um at the end of the movie uh, and it is just a great movie absolutely fantastic movie next up we have another musical uh, really enjoyed this movie musical have enjoyed this musical for decades you're the one that I want Greece and I love this cover this is a fantastic cover it's kind of it looks real it looks like a photo but it's actually art perfect with all the pinks uh, and this does look gorgeous it does look gorgeous with the hdr um especially like the scenes up here you know in the school scenes and and kind of like the vision scenes so yes i really do enjoy greece 
The next one is a very creepy film, but it is a absolute corker of a movie. And I am so looking forward to part two. It, or as I like to call it, IT. <laughs> but uh, yes, I mean, yellow, red, HDR. It looks, it looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. There are some gorgeous scenes in this. And it is creepy. It's not as scary as hell. It's not a real scary film. It's more thriller and tension. Um, but yes, I like this way better than Tim Curry's version. Next up, one of my all-time favourite Tom Hank movies with a gorgeous slip. Just such a great film and a great cast. Apollo 13. Uh, and I'm looking forward to First Man when it comes out and hoping that the slip kind of matches this. Because that would be perfect then. But um, there was so much tension in this. And I saw this at the cinema originally. My God, when that rocket launched. Holy crap. I don't know how I stayed sitting on the seat. But um, it has just as much impact here as well in the home cinema room. But uh, it's an amazing movie. I absolutely love this. I haven't seen it yet on the 4K, but um, I'm looking forward to watching it in, here in the back bedroom. Uh, also, another great film. As I said, I like giant monsters, giant robots. Peter Jackson's King Kong. Beautiful slip. Brilliant film. Beautiful prehistoric scenes with the dinosaurs. Uh, the rolling hills, climbing the Empire State Building. Great character moments with Adrian Brody. Um, absolutely fantastic film. Absolutely love it. And the last one on my collection so far is Hugh Jackman and Kate Beckinsale, a Stephen Summers film. If anybody's not familiar, Stephen Summers was the, the guy responsible for the Mummy movies. Uh, and I really do like this film, Van Helsing. It's not everybody's taste, but I really do enjoy it. As I say, it's another take on on the whole Van Helsing story. You know, it's not historically accurate. Um, like Dracula Untold, that's going to be completely different. But um, it is a really good film and uh, a nice little action-adventure movie. So, that is my complete 4K collection up until now. Uh, I should imagine we've got lots of 4K releases coming out. I've also got to pick up quite a few as well. So, I'll also be doing a monthly video showcasing what movies I've picked up in 4K on iTunes and any other movies and TV shows as well. I'll be doing that once a month, probably at the end of the month. So keep an eye open for that. But uh, I hope you enjoyed my little showcase of my 4K movies. I'm going to have to get up there very carefully so that I don't push them off the table. But um, like the video, share it, um, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Bye everyone.